How are we going guys? The Loot Gamer over here and welcome to another episode of Really Cool Gaming Loot. Over here people, we've got the Desperados 3 Collector's Edition. I want to sort of show you guys all the really cool details of this. And all I can say fellas is goddamn. Pretty excited to unbox this for you guys. This cost me 199 Australian dollars, so pretty expensive, might I say. But as we kind of see over here, fellas, PS4, Desperados 3 Collector's Edition. Really loving the way the packaging looks like. Really loving the way the main protagonist is there with all these baddies facing him. Of course, as we know, this is from Thor Nordic itself. Peggy 18 for the young fellas watching this video. <laughs> On the side of the air, what do we grab? We grab us after a spinning music box with five exchangeable figures, figurines. So we'll be able to kind of change them up, which is about 16 centimeters tall, which is about six inches. And this can be wound up mechanically and plays the melody of an OST track from the game. So that's a pretty damn cool feature. Let's kind of turn this around and kind of see what we get here. But included in the collector's edition includes the following. So we grab ourselves an art book, which is about 60 pages, and an official soundtrack with those really awesome figurines. And on top of that, a really awesome 3D art book as well with postcards included. So we are grabbing a whole lot of cool juicy details. But I further ado, Feathers, let's unbox this product and see exactly what we can expect. Alrighty, Feathers, now let's unbox this product right now and kind of see where we need to open this. So of course over here I should be able to, to just slide this open just like that. So we can see it just slides off nice and easy. Lovely. I'll place that one to the side. And over here as we, as we can kind of see fellas, this Desperados 3 um, Collector's Edition. I'm really loving the way this packaging looks like man. So really nice. Having a look at the side over here as we can see got that same kind of image from the front there. The back over here has got this really nice sort of brown leather like feel. And the other side there and even on top over here it kind of continues from the front of the packaging but now what i want to kind of do right now is sort of slide this on top just like that nice and slowly and what i'll do is i'll place that box to the side and inside yeah of course i've got myself my code so this code over here should include i'm assuming the game itself so how to redeem your code all the information about it so this is a season pass for desperados 3 guys so it's pretty nice to see so, so, so it says on top here desperados 3 season pass the season pass gives you three new missions that tell the story of a new adventurer taking place after the events of the main game all items will be released post launch of desperados 3 over the course of three dlc packs so it's pretty good to see that we're grabbing all of these so Pretty neat feature for this. Three awesome DLCs included. Let me place that one to the side. So over here, of course, we got ourselves a really awesome looking art book. And as you guys know, I am all about art books. Let's check this out in detail right now. Jumping into the book over here, fellas, Desperados 3. I'm really loving the image here at the front with this really awesome looking gun there. At the side over here, as we could see the art of Desperados 3. The back over here, really nice and plain with a cool sunset on the side. So let's kind of open this up. We agreed by a really nice white background. Let's kind of go here. We, as we can see, Desperados 3. Loving the shimmer on, of the pages. And over here, thank you very much for the interest in the, in the art of Desperados 3. My pleasure, fellas. As we can kind of see uh, the people that made the game. Really, really nice. I'm loving to see all these kind of stuff. Spoilers alert, fellas, because this may contain spoilers from the game. So be careful because I may spoil a couple of things here. Spoilers alert. So chapter one over here, the Doctor and the Bride. Really loving the way this looks. Kind of reminds me a bit of um, Red Dead Redemption in terms of the vibe itself. But the mood, level, train, and so on. Different kinds of artworks, yeah, as we can see. As you guys know, this channel is all about different artworks. Art books as well. Yeah, as a ranch mood to, to enhance the feeling of imminent danger. So we can kind of see a bit of law at the bottom over there. Next over here, the Eagle Falls Sawmill. Really loving the way this looks. Can't wait to boot this up on the PlayStation 4. Over here is a wanted villain. His name is called John Cooper. The assault robbery for Desperados 3. So as you can see here, guys, John Cooper in the flesh there. Really loving the artwork, fellas. I really like the way they made his face look here. Really, really, really nice. So, so John Cooper is a protagonist of Desperados franchise, a classic Western hero, a tough as nails gunslinger and a man of few words. In Desperados 3, he wanted to explore Cooper's origins and find out what made him the man he is from the original game. So this brother over here is the main protagonist in case y'all were wondering. Ooh, I love artwork. This over here, guys, is Kate O'Hara. I don't know whether I'm saying her name correctly. But man, have a look at how awesome this artwork looks, man. Be 
beautiful. So another mainstay in Desperados, Kate uses her charm and ingenuity to lure unsuspecting guards to the do doom. The time around we wanted to show a younger less experienced kate and the events that made her who she is so this is awesome man really loving it especially for fellas that have never played desperados i'm really glad to see that they even explain what's going on but over here the marshal and the witch different kinds of uh this is called the queen's nest as we can see have a look at this Different kinds of places, yeah. This brother over here is Arthur. Arthur Doc McCoy. Look at him. He looks like a bit of a, a wizard. <laughs> a 250 reward for this brother. So Doc is um, well known to Desperados fans. So this time around, we wanted to show him in his glory days. He's a specialist. The man who had a tool for every problem. Whether it be bleed wounds, locked doors, or guards in hard to reach places absolutely loving the artwork of this guy over here he looks so sinister new orleans over here different kinds of designs over here we got ourselves isabel moreo practicing witchcraft she looks a bit crazy five thousand dollar reward here for isabel so isabel was a very risky character for us the voodoo witch from New Orleans went through many iterations and everything from her age to her personality was adjusted numerous times before we felt uncomfortable with the results. Whoa, she seems a bit, you know, crazy. And have a look at these artworks here, fellas. All different kinds of details there. Loving the way that looks. So chapter three over here is a trapper and the kid. Really loving the way that looks. Excuse the sniffing, fellas. I am sick, but I still want to make sure that you guys get a video from the channel. But over here, as you can see, Hector Mendoza looking awesome. So Hector is a strong man of the group, the guy who likes a good fight and is fun to work with, even if he's a little slow sometimes. His signature weapon is a huge bear trap he carries on his back, which he's nicknamed Bianca. <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious, man. $100 reward for this brother over here, the bear trap. And this is a really nice image there making of the game itself so the creation of the user interface prototypes so over here guys are different kinds of prototypes as we can see and these over here are images of the game itself and i can't wait to boot this up especially on pc as well if this game is that good i'll probably also get it on pc the sound and audio as we can see a couple of interviews with, with the directors which is nice and the music people really loving the way this looks even a bit of reactions from the people all these different questions here cover artwork as well as you can see you have the logo design oh absolutely love this image have a look at this i may even change my desktop image this is a really nice looking image here the logo design as well desperados whoops let's, let's see this page over here so these are a couple of cutscenes as well and the announcement trailer we're nearly done and this thor nordic and that's just about it. But this over here, fellas, was really awesome art of Desperados 3. A really awesome looking book. Let me know what you guys think at the comments below. Really awesome book, fellas. So now let me just sort of place this book over here to the side. And let's see what else we get. So over here, as we kind of see the Desperados music box. And I have a look at how awesome this looks, man. Absolutely beautiful. So what I'll do right now, fellas, is I'll probably have to just um, slide this to the front like this. Beautiful. Place that box to the side. And over here, we can grab ourselves some really awesome foam to make it nice and protected. Over here, as we can see, the, the Desperados for the PlayStation 4. Let me just sort of... All right. The plastic is lovely. Very, very um, rigid plastic. Now, let's open up this over here. So we can kind of see the Desperados in this amazing glory over here. Really liking the, liking the way the disc looks, as we can see. That's all we grab for. There's nothing else. Let me kind of just open this up. Really nice and plain there. Just, just the disc itself. So... I kind of wish we got a steel case, a bit disappointing, but it is what it is, fellas. In the back, of course, just information about the game. I'll place that one to the side. And over here, of course, as we kind of see Desperados, I'm assuming these should be the um, lovely artworks. Let me kind of just slide this off, if I can. I think I may have to just be very careful here. Yeah? Maybe just cut one of these off. Beautiful. Did I want to damage it? But over here, fellas, we can kind of see John Cooper in his amazing glory. Really loving the way this looks like. Have a look at that. 
Wow, this looks nice. A thousand dollar reward for John Cooper. I was about to say Arthur Morgan. <laughs> you gotta love Arthur Morgan, guys. And the back over here, as we can see, Desperados 3. Let's place that one to the side. Over here, of course, Arthur Doc McCoy. Really love the way the artwork looks like. In the back, of course, just Desperados 3. Ooh, Isabel Morea. Man, I'm loving the artwork feathers. Really, 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 really creative. Practicing witchcraft, as we can see, Desperados 3. The back, of course, just Desperados 3. I'm assuming they all probably look the same. Over here, we got Kate O'Hara. Cheating at cards, bribery. She's a thief. Let's place that to the ground. We've got Hector Mendoza. Really nice, liking the way that one looks. Let's go next, yeah. A couple of different environments from the game, I'm assuming. Really nice. Really, really beautiful. Have a look at that artwork, man. And some more places. But that over there, but, but that over there fellas, with some really awesome looking art cards. Let's place those bad boys to the side. Place them right over here, if I may. So next over here, fellas, is of course, is the soundtrack itself. As we can see, the official soundtrack. So I want to kind of see how this is actually going to look. But having a look at the front here, pretty much consistent packaging, official soundtrack at the bottom. The back over here, nice and plain. On the side, just plain. Let me kind of open this up. Kind of, oh, oh, man, have a look at how beautifully presented this is. So we have ourselves 33 songs, fellas. 33 songs. Let's check this out and see whether this disc is nice and clean. Because as you guys know, I always do this on my channel. Really nice and clean. Really beautiful. Let me place that nice and neat back inside here. I do not want to drop it. If I can, on this camera. Beautiful. There we go. Desperados 3. And it's amazing. Glory. But as you can see there, fellas, 33 songs, man. That's a really damn cool um, collector's edition. Most of them, you know, have around 10 songs, but really loving the way that looks. So, so that over there, fellas, is the official soundtrack itself. Now, let's kind of see the big or the main fish of the room, because, of course, we, we want to check out how awesome these really awesome music box looks like. But having a look at the packaging over here, as we can see, Desperado's music box from Thor Nordic. At the side over here, plain. In Nordic and the back basically how it actually looked like really loving the gold just really really popping Let's kind of see this in the flesh and see whether it's actually worth it But yeah, gold is a really nice color. I'm just kind of curious to see how it looked like And right over there I place that to the side And this over here for this is how it looks like and I don't want to fall But let me kind of show you guys in the camera. This over here is basically how it looks like but now let's sort of see one by one and kind of see how they actually look. Just place them all onto the table. But yeah, first impressions, looks pretty interesting. Very different from what I've usually unboxed. Kind of reminds me of the green one, edition in regards to one color tone. All right, this over here, of course, is the Thing they spoke about so now let's have a look at all of these different looking figurines itself and have a look at this let me sort of tap to zoom so i can see what i see tap to zoom beautiful so having a look at this figurine fellas it looks very very interesting you know um i don't know what i think of it you know um it's a very mixed sort of feeling right now because having a look at something like this compared to what i'm used to unboxing with loads more detail it is a bit i would say a little bit disappointing because all you get is this one color which is gold and i think they're going to add a bit more love to it but having a look at the detail here yeah, really nice as you can see the gun at the bottom over there really really nice looking face here yeah. pretty much simple you know and it feels very hollow it's as well so mm. A bit disappointing, to be honest, fellas. I won't lie to you guys. It's a little bit disappointing. Let's have a look at the other figurines as well. So, of course, as you know, these are the characters that I just showed you guys from the cards itself. But in regards to the detailing, I reckon this looks really good, man. Like, the detailing is done really well. As you can see, the grooves of his hair there and even um, his really awesome-looking attire. That looks really nice. Loving the way they put detailing on these small-looking figurines 
really, really artistic. But again, I wish there was a bit more color because if there was color, I reckon it'll make it pop a bit more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But, you know, these are a little bit interesting in regards to how they actually look, you know. Next one over here is like crazy looking witch lady. But yeah, the detailing is great. It's just, man, again, that color, I kind of wish there was color. But yeah, look at that. These will definitely, you know, stay in my loot cave, tucked inside the box. Let's check out the next one over here. Or the next two, rather. Really loving the way this one looks. Let's check this one out, as you can kind of see over here. Let's sort of go like that. Really loving the amount of detail they put. The sculptor was done really well, even when he's holding his bag there. Kind of reminds me of Monopoly. Which is a strange thing to say, but but have a look at that detail, fellas. And so sort of tap to zoom again. But that detail on his kind of top of his jacket there, that's really well done. I won't even hate. That's really well done. Let, let's check out the next one over here. Holding his gun. That's cool. That is so damn cool. Loving the grooves on his coat over there. But now, of course, what we need to do is, is kind of connect it to the Desperados stand at the bottom over there and kind of see how that will actually work together. So here we have it, people. Desperados 3 Collector's Edition. What are your thoughts? All I can say, it's an interesting looking collector's edition with some really awesome looking five figurines in gold. And it's got a really awesome looking music box, as you guys can see at the front over there. So if you guys are into this kind of loot, I would definitely recommend picking it up. But... If you guys are not Desperados fans, I want to just kind of see whether it's worth the price point of 200 Australian dollars, then uh, it's going to be really hard for me to justify it. But I kind of do like the value that we get here. You know, we grab ourselves a soundtrack, the game, season pass, and it's really awesome looking packaging box here, as we could see, with some really, really artistic looking art cards. So, you know, and on top of it, an art book as well. So we are getting value. But again, it's missing the core essentials, which is a steelbook case, which I kind of wish it included. But having a look at the kind of detailing itself, I think it's cool. But is it worth it? Because it's going to be very hard for me to say yes. But if you guys are just Borados fans, that's definitely a no-brainer. But I am the Loot Gamer. If you guys enjoyed, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. But are you guys going to be picking this up? Or are you, are you guys going to pass? Let me know in the comments below. I am the Loot Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Deuces.